Gamers of Reddit, what was the maddest you've gotten over a video game? If you enjoy this video, consider giving it a like and subscribing. The Call of Duty, World at War, campaign on veteran literally made me spike my PS3 controller off the floor. What kind of sadistic person decided grenades should just spawn under a character's feet? The best is the fact that all you had to do was crawl forward slowly and shoot a few guys and the NPC teammates would move forward slash push. It was hilarious, same with COD 4, Modern Warfare, that was actually easy on veteran, same with the president rescue on the plane. Only achievement I couldn't get was shooting all the Al-Assad televisions, I swear to f I shot them all yo. There is a zone in Sonic 3 called the Carnival Night Zone. When I was a kid I hated this zone. There is a part where you get trapped in a small vertical room with a red and white diamond barrel. I used to time out the game trying to jump up and down getting it to go far enough to be able to jump through to the next area. And after days of effort I finally did it, but I grew to loathe that level and its grinding non-stop carnival theme. But you know what the kicker is? It wasn't till years later that I discovered you aren't supposed to jump at all. You are just supposed to stand there and hold up and down to make it go. Figures. Not sure if the maddest, but most recent, really, really mad at a video game was about a year ago. I was playing Beyond Good and Evil and reached the final boss. You need to memorize a very very long fight sequence and it only gives you like 3 checkpoints. I reach the very last sequence, one on one with the boss itself, and because the fight mechanic is so unique no other enemy or minor boss has used it, I keep failing it over and over. Got so frustrated that I just quit and haven't played it since. Kingdom Hearts 1, losing to Riku in Hollow Bastion over and over, and not being able to skip the cutscene that plays before it. I'd yell at the top of my lungs when I died, and then mock the cutscene while it was playing. And then a couple weeks ago, playing Dark Souls 3 for the first time and constantly being griefed by invaders when I just wanted to play with my boyfriend. I just got up and wandered to bed and started crying. Several years ago I warped and cracked my laptop screen out of pure age with my hands while playing Super Mario 64 on an emulator. I kept failing at one of the pyramid missions. Granted, I was playing with the arrow keys on my keyboard because that laptop didn't have Bluetooth capabilities for any real controller and I was too young to understand any other way of connecting. Anyway, several weeks of using a desktop monitor and one $70 replacement screen later, my young shitty self finally learned not to get physical with my rage, or at least not on any easily breakable items. I try not to get mad over video games. But my breaking point was in League of Legends, or random ultra rapid fire mode. We were all Garen vs. Eri I think. We got so bamboozled and destroyed, that I uninstalled the game for like a year. I didn't even say goodbye on Discord, just uninstalled and signed off. That game blows. I almost never play it anymore. Just very occasionally, if I really feel sociable, and it's all my friends are playing. Playing some Rainbow Six Siege the other day, jump into a casual game. We lose the first round. Immediately after, one of my teammates starts a vote to kick on the last player on our team who was alive. I'm the only one who votes now. Teammate starts a vote to kick on the next guy on our team. Again I'm the only one who votes now. Teammate finally votes to kick me. I'm kicked instantly. The guy wasn't even on comms. He was completely silent the entire round. Playing Pokemon Yellow, when I was a kid I remember it was difficult beating the first gym, because electric types were not good against rock types. I remember trying over, and over again, and I finally beat the gym with just barely any life left in my Caterpie. All my other Pokemon were fainted. Right as I won the game froze. When I restarted the game I was back to having to fight the gym again. I never played it again. First gym in Pokemon Yellow Pro Tip, go west and get a monkey, level it so it learns low kick and karate chop. Easiest run of your life. Playing FIFA 18, I was in the German Cup final, and I have never been effed harder by a video game than during that. Took me around 12 shots, to finally get a goal. AI dances through my defenders who act like a bunch of drunk cows and scores one. After 90 minutes I had 36 damn shots on goal, AI had 4, score was, 4 to 4. 
During the additional time I had about 4 more good shots that all somehow missed, when the AI scored from outside the box, I just put down the controller and gave up. No idea what happened during that game, my team couldn't get shots, in that a blind man would have scored. When the raid leader gave a piece of rare loot I'd been waiting to get for literally months, to a brand new guy instead, as incentive to get the new guy, to stick around for future raids. New guy bounces after the raid, and is never seen again. I never did get my full set bonus. Jerk. I've got a few good ones. I broke my 360 controller while fighting Ram, from Gears of War, on Insane for the first time. It took me 4 hours to do it, and this was about 2 hours in. The best part is, that it wasn't completely unusable, and because I wanted to get this done, I kept using it. I'd always get insanely angry when playing the first Destiny game. I will always remember this one time when my friend and I were doing the Nexus Nightfall with my friend playing right beside me. We couldn't find a third person, so we just went on our own, and kept getting absolutely dominated. At one point I got up, and started flipping off a servitor right in front of the TV, and was just screaming at it. During the cuphead level, where you're in the planes, and fighting that transforming person I got so angry I jumped out of my seat and screamed, F you, Moonbee. I watched a lot of rage quit while growing up, so despite the fact that I'm usually a mild mannered person I'm basically Michael, while I'm playing games. Your destiny comment made me remember one of my maddest moments. I got destiny on day one and spent every week doing every activity in hopes of getting Jalahorn and still haven't gotten it. My friend and I were playing Crucible, and I decided to take a break for a few minutes, while he kept playing. I just sat in the lobby for a bit, while he finished up a game, and he started freaking out saying, that he got Jalahorn from a Crucible game. I was furious every time anyone got that gun. This is a long story, so bear with me. I was playing Rust ages ago with some friends. I wasn't really a fan of the game, but we were on a pretty quiet server, so it was unlikely we would be raided or griefed. My friend and I decided to head out on a long journey to a place where he claimed good loot would constantly spawn. We headed out and, after about an hour of scavenging we agreed to haul back to base. Before we started trekking back I heard a ton of gunshots and my friend immediately told me to run as he'd been killed by another player, but since I didn't know where this guy was, I hid instead. I soon found the guy looting my friend's corpse, and got the jump on him, but despite this, he still managed to kill me with ease. My friend and I were simply outclassed by this guy, who clearly had a lot more experience than us. This is where I wish the story ended, with us being disappointed about losing our hours worth of looting. However since we went on such a long journey, to find this looting spot, my friend had brought a map with him which clearly pointed out the route from our base to the looting spot, which was on his corpse, and now in the hands of our killer. My friend assured me, that it was too long a trek for us to be worth his time. He was wrong. Less than half an hour later my friend pointed out he saw a naked guy near the window of our base. I rushed inside to find the same guy going through all our chests. I tried to shoot him, but he kept sidestepping as he looted our stuff, and I kept missing, all the while the guy was taunting me through his microphone. He leapt through the window and started running to the hills as I got out my emergency weapons and armor before giving chase. I wasn't going to let this a-hole get away with screwing us over twice. I chased him for a good 30 seconds while getting a couple of shots in him. Too bad I didn't notice the bear right behind me. I panicked and started shooting the bear, but it knocked me down, and I started bleeding out. Then somebody killed the bear on top of me, before it could take me out. I was assumed it was my friend, until I noticed it was in fact our killer as he proceeded to taunt me, kill me, and loot my body, again. It's one of the very few times I have ever age quit a game. I don't think I've ever been so mad. My husband broke his hand over Super Smash Bros. two weeks ago. I come home from work, to see a very sheepish hubs with a hand in an ice pack telling me he's really really sorry. Apparently the issue was a jigglerpuff during an online match game. We can all sympathize with that. I mean look at this freak. The most evil thing ever, to grace the pixels on your screen. Some sad news guys. I'm currently in the middle of moving into a house so there might be a week when you don't get daily uploads because I won't have time to sleuth through reddit like I usually do. 
so there might be only one video every two days for a few days, until things are settled. Thanks for watching, and see you later.